I'd love to create a Disney princess. She smiles. It's always been a dream of mine. I love the way that animation reaches out to people of all ages and Disney has this way of capturing our hearts. Musicals like Tangled and Frozen are written so well. I love singing and I love doing accents so maybe doing voiceovers in animated films could be my future. I'd really like that. In the meantime, Faye has plenty to occupy her on the cobbles while she's waiting for her fairy tale dream to come true. For while her character Kate Connor had imagined a happy ever after, with girlfriend Rana Nazir Bhavna Limbachir, the course of true love is proving far from smooth and this week there are plenty of bumps in the road in the form of Kate's growing jealousy. Things get off to a bad start when Kate asks Rana to move in with her. But Rana refuses. Kate has a spare room and it's a spare of the moment thing to ask her. Faye says, she's happy and in love. And it makes sense to her, but it's too soon for Rana. In the meantime, Rana is busy helping her estranged husband Zedan, Kashi Makta, ass. He attempts to set up his new restaurant takeaway business, Speed Dal. With Zedan short of cash, Rana asks her brother Imran, Charlie DeMello, if he will help and he decides to invest much to Zedan's delight. However, when Zedan hugs Rana to thank her, Kate witnesses it, she's not too happy. Faye says, she questions it in the way anybody would if they saw their partner with their ex. Kate gets quite sarcastic and has a go at her. She thinks Rana is giving Zedan false hope. It's good old-fashioned jealousy, but it's human and totally natural, at the same time. Rana is still struggling to come to terms with the fact that her parents attempted to kidnap her and take her to Pakistan. Zedan suggests she should report her mother to the police, so when her mother is then arrested, Rana angrily assumes Zedan is responsible. The row is interrupted. When Kate turns up and announces it was actually her who called the police, Rana flies off the handle and tells Kate to leave. Faye, 30, reveals, it's another bump in the relationship. There just seem to be these endless obstacles that they have to deal with. I don't think Kate understands that Rana still has a relationship with Zedan and still cares for him. She doesn't have any baggage of her own and gives all her focus, energy and attention to Rana. She wants the same thing back and she's not getting it, which is a little bit upsetting for her phase. Own home life is thankfully a good deal karma. She lives in Manchester with her boyfriend, actor Gareth Gates, and together the couple run their own children's drama school in Manchester, Fates Academy. It's three years since Faye was cast as Kate, the daughter of former Underworld factory boss Johnny Connor and half-sister of Carla, Alison King. But while Shane Ward, her screen brother Aidan, will shortly leave the show, she herself has no desire to go. I think I've only just sunk my teeth in and that people have only just started to know who Kate Connor really is, says Faye, who was named Best Newcomer at the National Television Awards last year. There was talk about me going into I'm a Celebrity, but the island with Bear Grylls would be the one I'd want to do, being deserted on an island, making your own food and fire. I'm a girl scout at heart. In the meantime, Faye is more than happy on the Corrie Cobbles. By the age of 40, I would like to be settled in a house up north and still be on Coronation Street, she says.